apply my NARS eyeshadow base like always. Next, I'm going to be applying this NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in pure gold. Um, it's just like a gold color. I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. Up to the crease. And then below my lower lash line. I'm going to be blending that base out and applying that gold base is really going to warm up our eyeshadows just because we're using a bunch of cooler tone eyeshadows with this look. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette for this. Um, the first color I am going to be taking is a mix of this crease color and a little bit of this definer color. I'm using this rounded crease brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to place this right in my crease. You kind of feel it in your socket line right here and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth and bring it over. Bring it up a little bit too. I'm also bringing this down into the outer V. Taking the eyelid color right above that. It's kind of like this lilac -y color. It has a little bit of gold sparkle in it. Taking that on a super fluffy crease blush. This is a, a E40. I'm just going to be blending that purple out. Making it a little bit softer. Because it is so harsh and blue. Next I'm going to be taking this medium angled shader brush. This is an E70. I'm going to be going in with this matte white shade called Brow Bone. Just going to be putting this underneath my brow. I like to kind of um, drag that brow bone color right underneath where like my brow bone and my inner corner connect I just feel like it kind of blends the whole eye look together it's like right there I'm just gonna take the very tip of that same brush and I'm gonna go into this crease color I'm very very lightly just getting the tip of that brush in I don't know if you can see but there's like barely any product on there I'm just going to put this in like my outer corner right here, wiggle it around. Um, I don't want to get too much product in there. I still want the purple to kind of show through. With that round crease brush, I'm not taking any extra product. I'm just blending out that black just so it looks a little bit more seamless, not so like harsh. A flat shader brush this is an e55 I'm gonna go in with like the warmest color in the palette it's this eyelid shade it's kind of like a dark lilac -y color with like tons of like bronzy gold shimmer in it it's a really pretty color I'm just gonna be putting this all over my lid where the you can still see the gold that I haven't applied yet this is just going to kind of bring everything together. Taking a pencil brush, um, just to do kind of like my inner corner. I'm going to be mixing these two brow bone colors together. Um, I really like this pink one, but it's just so reflective and shimmery that I need to add the matte white so it's not so like in your face. And then I'm going to take that same pencil brush and I'm going to take these two crease shades together. I'm just kind of mixing them both evenly on the tip of the brush. And I'm going to be putting this on the outer third of my eye. I'm going to take that flat shader brush again. I'm going to be going back into that like 
violety, brassy eyelid shade. Just taking that on like the tip of my brush, kind of like that. Put this right underneath the rest of my um, lower lash line. I'm kind of going over where we just applied that darker purple and light. Next, I'm going to be applying my L'Oreal Extra Linear Intense Carbon Black Eyeliner Pencil. Um, I have like none of this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I love this eyeliner so much. And I'm going to be applying this to my waterline and my tight line. just across my upper lash line my L'Oreal L'Oreal Linear Intense in black it's the um it's the one with the brush tip I do like the felt tip brother better but I just have the brush tip for right now just gonna be applying a line straight across my upper lash line I'm going to be applying two coats of my um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, this is my favorite mascara right now. And I'm also going to be doing a Mascara Monday on this pretty soon. So yeah, I'm just going to apply two coats of that and I'll be right back. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my NARS Trio. Um, I'm first going to use the bronzer with like a rounded powder brush by Sonia Kashuk. Get that on my brush. I'm gonna go from the top of the ear and then just do small circular motions, dragging that down. I'm just contouring my face. And I'm also gonna bring it up to the temples. And then just the littlest bit on the sides of my nose. I'm going to be taking that orgasm blush. And I'm going to be taking this on a large contour angle brush. I'm just going to be getting the littlest bit of this. Because it is so freaking pigmented. That like it. I don't want to look like a clown. Just putting this on the apples of my cheeks. Bringing it back. You can use the highlighter if you want to. I'm not going to just because Orgasm does already have a lot of shimmer in it. And then for my lips, I'm just going to be using Max Bare Again Sheen Supreme, which is like a rosy nude color. Um, I just use this that kind of like as a lipstick and a gloss. Kind of like one of those hybrid lipsticks. That is it for the look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to be doing another tutorial with this Petal Pusher palette, so stay tuned for that. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!